over here. Yeah. And I was like, ah! When I backed up and it squeaked into it all of a sudden. Give it another bump right there. Talking it out there. Yeah. We'll put some uh, some marks in here. You can tell the rain made it a little slippery. And we're off. We're off. We need to get on to sixth, sixth, and then twenty-five. So it begins trip number six or eight. I'm not sure which number it is. I think we're this is trip number six. We are uh, going through Kansas. We're gonna make it to, uh, it's kind of near Wichita. We're going to play a disc golf course. It's called the Quail at, no, the Farm at Quail Valley. We're gonna just kind of stop somewhere near that area tonight. And then tomorrow we'll drive to Dallas. And then me and my dad and my mom will drive it back to San Antonio. But thank you all along for anything interesting. As you can see, we've installed a Holly Sniper EFI. This is where the O2 sensor is welded in the handheld for the sniper system. We had to take the wheel off to install the EFI and the folks at Discount Tire cross-threaded a lug. Did a little bit of window trim treatment. The door gap is much better now. The wheel to the door rolls up and down. They kept snapping off. And of course an oil change. This is uh, one of the more interesting vehicles. So we have a Ford Flex just with some crazy ass bodywork. And then over Jonders, Plymouth Prowler, you don't see those very often. And it's an Elko. Clean. Those are clean. Dang it. Those tires are meaty. Prowlers are sick. Yeah. About to oh. go over the K.O. Arkansas River. Heard good things about it. What's going on everyone? We are out here at the farm at Quail Valley in Kansas, south of Wichita. This is rated the number one disc golf course in Kansas. So if you're new to the channel on these Mustang trips, me and my brother drive an old Mustang from Texas to Colorado, Colorado back down. And so we go through Kansas this time. Grant was looking some course information for every state and saw that this one was kind of in route. So hole one here. We're doing longs to longs, 758. Yeah. Across the river, there's no water right now, so. And then everything, all these uh, these logs are out of bounds. Everything left out of bounds, everything right out of bounds. So, two off the first, here goes nothing. Get the D. Well, two off the first. Can I get there? 
I was almost there. You see where mine hit? I hit the wall. Nate's on his second shot. <laughs> we are probably not going to play along so long anymore considering this one is, we made it about 300 feet of the 700 something. We'll be here all day if we play along so long. Destroyer. Nathan's live. Gotta go in here. Inside that ditch. There you go. Nice out. Ah! I can't believe that actually made it through. <laughs> Means too high. First putt of the day, huh? Oh, yeah. Is that a bogue? For me? Yeah, that was that was a par. Par four. So I think we're gonna play shorts to shorts or longs to shorts, but we're not gonna be playing longs to longs, that's for sure. We'll be here for like five hours. So <laughs> yeah. We'll see y'all on hole two. Hole two, 4.30. We don't really know where the basket is. We think it's next to those trees down there, but. Alright, Nathan's about 150 out. No. 100 out? 100 out, maybe. Oh, a little love from the tree for this easy birdie. Hopefully. Oh, don't roll. No. <laughs> maybe not easy birdie. No. Sweet birdie. Uh, par par. Par par. Hole three. I think it's four eleven. I think he's could not be any more safe. I think. Easy three, easy. Par par? Par par. We're doing short TB, so 522. God, that's so close to being over here. <laughs> Very short. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Hopefully I made it around. Missed mine. I was in there. Just laid it up to right there.
So you can see, this is supposed to be, like all of this is supposed to be full of water yeah, right now. You can see the out of bounds line that's supposed to be marked with all these stones. And look at the water, just way drawn down. Change, change, change. Watch fours. Watch ties. Yes. This will be a little easier, I think. Damn it, I suck at camp filming. We both right in the circle for another pie. Pull six, playing short TB 381 over what could be a river but has no water. And then two uh, TB. Turfed it. Oh, no. I mean, you, I think you went past. Oh my God. Bro. So we we're playing 363, lots of OB, not a lot of water, but all right, smash bro. Safe. Hear that fish? A flop? There's a fishy. Oh, there's another one. Alright, can you keep the keep the box hopefully? Oh no. Nope, not like that. I mean you can probably keep the box. Not sure I'm gonna make my putt, but No damage done. Also, I'm impressed that we both cleared it, no problem. Yeah. Well, eight, only one pin uh, box placement. Call it the tire hole, I guess. Slightly uphill to a pile of old tractor tires. OB all left along that fence line there. Get off my box! I had it for a while there. Do you think he's there? Do you think we gotta... I mean, it might not be, but we can go look. So this, if you're ever looking for their pro shop, this is uh, what it is. This oh, is yeah, where you step up and see, can you throw 300 feet? It is... Right there.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you park it, park it? Yeah. Dang it. Wah, wah. Hell yeah. First birdie, took nine holes. Pin B, 322. It's a pretty tight gap. Tee box there. And then you gotta just pipe it down this little tiny gap right through there. Always going comet. Oh my god, you got all the lucky kicks. You might be OB. You might not be. I don't know. That's a very... Yeah, I mean, you're like literally right on... I think you're on the line. You can see it. So this is Grant's up shut with the roller. We're going to give him... We're going to give him the player benefit. Got him. What a save. Oh man. <laughs> Hole 11, par 3, 260. It's, can't really see it, but you need to go out and then to the right. How far is 263? 260? 260 or 303, yeah. I really liked that. I have no clue where it went. Gotta nail that tractor. And this is the landowner putting down stripes for this property. Just shredding this mower. Distance was right. Stayed in bounds. Yeah, just barely. just in bounds. He's uh lining up a 60 footer. Right next to the John Deere. Oh no, And the cheater step. So we're in the one basket, one tee box zone. I think it's short, it's gotta be short pin. That looks too. So straight ahead. 275. In between these two gaps, you can see the two Mando signs on. Nope. Look. Did you not make the Mando? Did it go left? Uh huh. Oh baby. It's a Mando. It's a Mando hit. So he had to go to the drop zone, we think. We're not really sure. So I'm just gonna play this. <laughs> the 
looks like he's been trying to burn that stump for who knows how long. Oh my God. Hole 14, we're going 253. I mean, you can't get, you can't get any straighter. Just a grove of trees. We are playing from that shorter tee box that's closer. Oh, did he do it? I mean, I'll take that. that yeah. Not hitting a tree like. crushed it. Indeed you did my friend. God, I suck at this ball. I've been doing a lot of camera putts today. That's a good thing. These are really close. We're tied up, sir. Hey boy. I don't like this. Well, 15, 253, shorty up to, my guess is A. We don't really know yet. We'll walk up to that tee pad right there and check it out. I'll take that. Oh, Way right. short. You were right. Way short. Not bad. That's a hike, right? Dude, this is. These are some big old stairs. <laughs> no. Oh. Even this left side. Hole 16, we're going to be doing the 394 position, so this is long, we're going to be going down to that little shade pocket, see y'all there. Headwind says, yeah. bye! In the middle of the fairway. Oh, I didn't even know where. Oh. Burnt it. Fucking smashed it again. Hole 17, part three. Short pan, 340. 340. You can see it straight ahead. Right in front of that. Head, head right to left it seems, yes. out of bounds on this fence line, out of bounds on the road right there. So that road kind of curls around. Yank that eat it. That's not coming back. Oh, you got so lucky it skipped underneath the rail. That's gonna have a cut out of it. Doesn't matter. Going OB. So we're doing 286. I mean, it's just a hallway. The whole way. You got a lucky kick, son. Oh! Dang it.
Well, that's going to wrap up this week's video, folks. We got the Mustang home safe. Uh, this weekend, me and my dad actually fixed the master cylinder for the brake. Uh, it looks like there was a bushing or something that internally that had gone wrong, so it was leaking, causing braking not to work, so that was kind of sketchy, but back to your normal broadcast next week. Going to go back, hit the rivers. We're in uh, perfect ca camping weather. Temperatures are dropping here in Texas, and we're starting to get a little bit more rain, so be on the lookout for a kayak camping video soon. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.